The first step to using the law of attraction is to walk away from what you don't deserve. That requires a great deal of self-awareness, a great deal of understanding who you are, who you want to be, and where you want to go. Because how am I going to tell myself that I need to walk away from this situation? I need to walk away from this behavior. I need to walk away from this mindset if I don't even know who I am. Before we even get into the whole walking away from what you don't deserve, we need to first have that self-awareness to know who we are, to know what we stand for, to know what we don't stand for. Then and only then can we walk away from what we don't deserve. The universe wants to reward you. Your job wants to reward you. Your husband, your wife, your new boyfriend, girlfriend, they want to reward you. And you have to believe this. You have to believe that everybody wants to reward you. You work in sales, you have to believe that your customers want to buy your product. You have to believe it. But if you don't believe that you are worthy of love from your husband, from your wife, why should they give it to you? If you don't believe that your customers deserve your products and you deserve to take their money in exchange for the products, why should they give you their money? Tell me why I'm supposed to believe in you when you don't. Tell me why I'm supposed to give you something when you don't feel like you deserve it. Step one right now today for using the law of attraction is to walk away from what, from what you don't deserve. But if you don't know what you do deserve, and you're not willing to work for it, you'll always be in situations that don't benefit you, situations that don't feel good, situations that hurt you, situations that cause you pain. Start by knowing yourself, knowing who you are today, not who you're gonna be in, in, in five years. That's irrelevant. It doesn't matter who you were five years ago. That's irrelevant. The past and the future don't matter when it comes to the law of attraction because the law of attraction is about right now. It's about this moment. It's about knowing who I am in this moment knowing what I deserve in this moment, knowing how I'm going to treat myself in this moment, knowing what I will not settle for in this moment. And when you use the law of attraction for this moment, the future will always be a reflection of the behaviors and the mindsets you have today. So as long as you are on point in here and in here today, the future will play itself out naturally to be what it is supposed to be in your favor, to be in your benefit. But you have to believe that you deserve abundance in this moment. You have to believe that you are worthy in this moment. And no matter what you're looking for, you have to believe that you are worthy of the love, of the happiness, of the health, of the financial success in this moment, today. And once you fully believe that you're ready for that today, then it's easy to walk away from what you don't deserve. The next step towards the law of attraction is actually a physical thing that you can do to help you physically manifest what you claim you want. I want you to write a daily plan, a daily plan, five things. This is what I'm doing today. I'm going to work. Boom. I'm going to hit my workout. Boom. I'm going to read 10 pages from a book. Boom. I'm going to call my brother. Boom. I'm going to meditate for 25 minutes. Five things. Is that is that hard? Like, I want you to look at the macro, not the micro. I don't want you to look at every single little detail. I want you to list four or five things every single day. As soon as you wake up or maybe the night before, I want you to make a list. Four to five behaviors or tasks, activities that I'm going to do today to help manifest what I claim I want. Law of attraction is not just about hoping and wishing. It is about behavior. Success is about behavior. Love is about behavior. Happiness is about behavior. If I believe that I am worthy and I walk away from what I do not deserve, the next thing that I have to do is I have to take steps daily to build what I want. I have to take the steps to create the life that I claim I deserve. There are no fucking handouts. Nobody is going to give you anything. If you want wealth, you have to build it. If you want love, you have to build it. If you want to be happy, you have to build it. Stop playing the victim and stop looking for a handout. Nobody cares about you. Maybe three or four people do. That's not sad, that's reality. It's called survival of the fittest. Everyone is always out for themselves. We're out here for ourselves. We're lucky enough to find friends, to find family members who care about us a little bit. But at the end of the day, they are responsible for themselves, just like you are responsible for yourself. Stop feeling bad for yourself. It doesn't help you. What you need to do is make a plan, focus on it, and execute it daily. You can't do the whole plan in one day. So take four to five things you can do every day to get yourself towards the life that you deserve. It's not about finishing the journey today. It's about taking a couple of steps today, getting the rest you need, and then taking a couple of steps tomorrow. And if you take a couple of steps every single day, eventually you will be where you want to be. The journey is much easier when you focus on a few steps. If you up 
obsess about the end and you obsess about the goal, it'll never happen for you, ever. The experience will suck. It'll be full of conflict. Make your goal. Okay, I want to be a best-selling author. That's your goal. You want to be a best-selling author. Well, what's going to go into that? People need to read your book. People need to know that you write. You need to be good enough. You need to practice the art of writing. You need to study writing. You need to study sales. You need to study book covers. I mean, you can apply this to anything. I want to make it to the NBA. Well, there's 450 jobs in the NBA if you're an NBA player. So you're going to need to look, probably learn all the positions. Learn how to shoot, how to rebound, how to play defense. Become a student of the game. Respect the game. See, a lot of people want to be successful, but they don't respect the game that they're in. They want to just come in day one, be rookie of the year, be MVP. That doesn't happen. It, it just doesn't happen. That, that never happened. It, do, it just doesn't happen. You come in, be rookie of the year, MVP, champion. It doesn't happen. There are people who have 15, 20 year careers and they never won an MVP award, but they had a great career. There are people who have 10, 15, 20 books and they've never been a New York Times bestseller. So if you want to have longevity and with whatever it is, your relationship, success, mental health, you're going to have to be consistent. And one of the best ways to be consistent is to make a plan. Make a plan. That's all you can do. Make a plan and execute it. It's really simple. It, it's, it's not difficult. The problem is that we're so fucking lazy and we wake up and the first thing we do is get on our, on our phones. We don't eat breakfast. We don't drink water. We don't make a plan. We don't organize or, or make a strategy for the day. We just wake up and go through some routine that has garnered us no result. And then wonder why we're not where we want to be in life. The people who are successful, like me, the people who are successful, way more successful than me, they have a plan. They always have a plan. Always. You got to have a plan. The third thing that I want you to do, and, and most people, I mean, especially artists, especially entrepreneurs, a lot of people have a hard time with this. The law of attraction is about reward. It really is. It's about the reward that you want, the reward that you feel you're worthy of. You have to ask people to reward you. Stop training people to treat you like shit. Stop training people to treat you like shit. Stop training people to treat you like shit. Stop training people to treat you like you're unworthy. Stop training people to treat you like you don't matter. Stop training people to treat you like your feelings don't matter. You do matter. Your worth matters. Your effort matters. Your attitude matters. Your presence on this planet matters. Start training people to reward you for your efforts. Start training people to celebrate you. Start training people to celebrate you when you get your 4.0 because you studied all semester. No, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate this. You know why we're going to celebrate this? I'm going to celebrate. And you guys are supposed to be my friends, so you, you guys are going to celebrate me too. And when you guys succeed, we're going to celebrate you too. We don't need to just celebrate when we get to the end of the war because there's a hundred battles in between. We can celebrate little battles here and here and there. At the end of the war, guess what? We all die. At the end of life, guess what? We all die. So when we have these little battles in life, we we might as well celebrate. We might as well be happy. We might as well find people, genuine people that like and that we care about. And let's celebrate their birthday. Let's celebrate their anniversary. Let's celebrate their A+. Let's celebrate their new mixtape, their new music video. They did a painting. Let's celebrate them. Let's train other people to celebrate us and let's celebrate the people around us. Let's train people to treat us with respect and with love instead of conditioning people to, to know that it's okay to mistreat us and treat us however they feel. No, if you're going to be in my life, you're going to treat me well because I treat me well and I treat you well. You're not going to treat me bad. I'm not training you for that. I'm training you to celebrate. I'm training you to reward me. Life is about what you know. Life is about what you think about yourself. And I'm telling you that most of us don't know anything. And most of us think poorly of ourselves. When you leave this video, I want you to take with you new thoughts about yourself. That you are worthy. That you deserve abundance and happiness and bliss. And I want you to take these new thoughts to your friend, to your family. They may accept it. They may not. You cannot control it. But I want you to take these thoughts to those people. And if they don't embrace, if they don't embrace that you are worthy and that you're a being of love, guess what? You know what you have to walk away from because you don't deserve that energy any longer. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm about to go live my life. I hope you guys have a great day, a great night, wherever you are. I want you to lust for life. I want you to read this book. It's really easy to read. Lust for life. This is my sixth book. It's all about abundance. It's all about love. It's all about life. It's all about creating what you want, creating wealth, creating opportunities creating happiness. I'll have the link below. Check it out. Watch this video over and over. I will see you guys soon. Keep loving. Keep living. Lust for life.